there how's going welcome to loop learning and this is next video in the series we are, what we are making is pos management system and uh, this is i think video number 10 i believe so and in the last nine videos we have created a lot of stuff we have created database queries uh, forms and the form that you're looking at is a main form so we have created a lot of things so i would strongly encourage that you do watch those videos so you understand what exactly we are trying to make here now in this video i want to cover a couple of things one is i want to build a feature which is if i click on add to order button it should check the available to promise quantity so if the available to promise is zero less than zero it should say hey you can't add this logically speaking so that's what i'm going to do i want to get rid of this amount discount and amount um, fields uh, from this form and as well as from this table because i don't think it makes sense because we can build queries and we can fetch the amount for each order that we can do that and perhaps we can present it onto the main form as well now so that's why i don't want these fields so i'll get rid of those and a couple of more teeny tiny things to make it more functional make it more uh better so that's what i'm going to i'm going to demonstrate in this video so if you're interested in learning make sure that you do watch until the end if you are new to my channel welcome if you're returning welcome back in any case if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet make sure that you do and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video so hit this subscribe button and also join the channel now joining the channel simply means you're supporting me and supporting my work what i'm trying to do here and that really means a lot to me so that people who have joined i really appreciate that now let's get back to microsoft access now let's build this feature so as i said if i click on add to add to order either this or this button it should check available to promise and it should basically restrict um it it restricts, restricts that no you can't add this so let's go to design view and in here i will click on uh, because this is atp i'll click on the button we'll go to the dot 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 and we are here so right here we will we'll make another else if statement okay so we'll say else if me dot uh, atp equal zero or me dot atp is less than zero that can also happen maybe the uh, it should not actually but let's put it let's put this um, as a precaution so it, it should be zero it should not be less than zero but we'll put it as a precaution in case you know for some reason the quantity goes in minus then also we are uh, rejecting this to be our, uh, added so let's say do cmd dot beep and we will throw a message box and the message box would be this action oh no the quantity quantity for the selected uh, product is not enough okay so therefore it gives a error all right there you go okay so now this this should be okay all right so this is done now what we can do is by the way is we can actually come here all right so now we are going to click on this button we'll have kind of similar functionality built in that we have built for this button but here it will be a little bit different and how it is going to be a little bit different let's see that so a little bit different because this is another sub form residing on the main form so we have to refer to this uh, form particular so we'll say if forms exclamation mark and the main form is pos and dot form exclamation mark what's the name of this form so let's select this form so we'll get to know the name so its name is list products exclamation mark atp okay zero that's why i said it's a little bit different so if it is zero or let's copy the entire thing or it is less than zero if that's the case then through an error Okay, the same error. Do cmd dot beep message box. The quantity of the selected item is not enough. Something like this, right? Okay, and you say it's critical and it is information. All right, else, oops, else, and then we will end with end if all right there you go i think this should work but let's try it's always good to try because you'd never know 
even though you're sure, but you never know. So let's click here and seems to be working and uh, should be changed to six and it is changed to six so it, it, this is working now you know what i've noticed something else there are three products in basically in the products uh, table so let's go back to design view let's go to products yeah i thought so but on this form it is only showing two you know why because the third one have no purchase record remember we created the purchase table in the last video so because there is no purchase record, therefore the product is not showing, which is not right. Logically speaking, even though the quantity is zero, the record should actually uh, be appearing there. So let's uh, try to fix it. Let's go to the query. And uh, okay, so it will be main inventory queue query. So right now it's showing two. We'll go back to design view. And what do I need to do is I will double click here. I'll say include all records from the products so this is what i'm saying that hey include all the records from product doesn't matter whether there is a purchase or there is a sale or not that's very very important we will do the same right here and if we will run the query we can see that there is this uh record right now immediately right away i can see something else as well and that is because there is no sale record or purchase record um I can right away see that these fields are empty. So what does that mean? So first of all, let's close this and I'll close this as well. And now if we will run, if we'll go to the form view, we should have three records. And you know, what's the problem that I saw right away? If I will add this, you will see that it will get added, right? Which is, <laughs> which is logically speaking, doesn't make sense. Now why it will get added, you might think so, because you will think, oh, hey, hey, just now we have, uh, added this logic so how come this will be added we have added a logic where we are checking zero or less than zero we haven't added a we haven't added a logic that will check the uh, null record so let's quickly go back uh, i can actually click here and you can see there see utensils it gets added there which is completely this is not the way so let's go back and now first of all we'll come here and we'll go to the form design property sheet and dot 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 and right here and we'll say well nzme dot atp equal or now nah, this is this is what it requires and now we'll go back here we will and we'll come here and we will click on this plus button as well we'll click here dot 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 and we are going to write the same here Okay, if it is null uh, or there you go. Okay, now if we'll, okay, I'll do one more thing before I go ahead. There is, what I've seen is there are, there is no scroll bar. So if we'll go here and we will switch on the vertical scroll bar. And then for this as well, it will be same. Okay, so it will be vertical scroll bar. Okay let's go to the form view and now we can see nicely that there is scroll bar as well now obviously this is not right because this is there's no utensil so let me delete this okay now if i will try to add so it says quantity for selected record is not enough which is this is what i wanted now if we will add a purchase record definitely the quantity uh, will increase uh, quantity will uh, appear here as well whatever the quantity we will purchase so that's the idea now what else as i said we are going to get rid of these three fields from here so let's go here let's go to the form now uh, i'm sure some of you might be thinking actually these are required and yes but my choice i will delete it because when i will create i will we will create a button call invoice when we'll click there then all the pricing information will appear okay so that's what that's the functionality we are going to build all right that's done how about making the atp a little bigger right so we'll have it no no that's too big 16 i think this should be appropriate but let's see okay available to promise eight six and then zero or nothing and we have gotten rid of these those fields from there and we have a little bit more space right here. Now, if we will go to design view, and the reason I go to design view is because 
I want to go to the sale table and I want to get rid of these total amount, discount and net amount fields. Because I, remember, as I said, we are going to make query which will have the total amount. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Total amount, discount, net amount. All right. All right. We'll get rid of it. So obviously, this is not really sophisticated table that will hold all the record and it can be used on the commercial level. Well, if you want to use it on commercial level, of course, you have to make it a little bit more elaborative, sophisticated. You have to consider many things. But this is because an example I'm demonstrating. So that's why I will keep uh, as small as possible and as simple as possible. So we can focus on the actual stuff, which is, which is writing code and building these functionalities. All right, so let's uh, move this button a little bit. And this button also, it's already there. We'll move it a little bit. Okay, so I think we are, yeah. Okay, so we have actually covered uh, quite a lot. We have covered many items which I wanted. So from the functionality, main functionality point of view, I think this is ready meaning we have the add to order button which is working to add record we have these two buttons to increase the quantity or decrease the quantity um i think the next uh, we, next video i will be making we will be working on creating this search functionality and we will have a button for the invoicing purpose as well so this is what i want to demonstrate i know it may not be too much but we are slowly slowly progressing uh, towards the actual uh, end result. So if you're still watching, thank you so much. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you have not. If you like whatever you've seen, smash the like button and um, join the channel to support me and support the channel as well. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one.